You're probably wondering why I've come to Podium Mall. Well, it's to see Spanky Enriquez. Thank you for joining me. No, thank you for joining me. It's been a while. This is Spanky's organized all of this, and he's a man of many parts. <laughs> he's one of the first vloggers here in, in the Philippines, uh, and he does all sorts of different things. You're a journalist as well? Yes, I write for the Philippine Star, among other magazines and yeah, right. publications. Okay, and your main thing is? The main thing is I do restaurant marketing. So I help restaurants, especially during the pandemic, we had to survive. Yep. So marketing, advertising, public relations. So he's the sort of person that I need to know because he can get me into all the different places. Anywhere you want to go. Places. Yeah, which, <laughs> which is fantastic. So what we're doing here is Podium Mall. We're here at Deli by Celli and we're going to try their, their signature pastrami sandwich. Uh, and we'll talk about that a bit more later. And um, actually, uh, Spanky's going to try something else. Something Surprisingly, different. they have the best, one of the best, Topsy Logs here. Yeah, right. Okay. Absolutely. So that's a Filipino dish, obviously. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to another place, and then we're going to another place after that. So we'll leave those as a surprise. While we're waiting for our food, uh, you may have noticed, of course you did, and of course I did, that Spanky is a rather strange name. Uh, how did you get it? What, what, what the hell's going on? When my dad was growing up, there was a serial that you could only watch. Serial, S-E-R-I-A-L. But you could only watch movie theaters. And my dad oh, loved really? movies. And there was something oh, called The Little Rascals. The Little Rascals. This was back during the 40s and the 50s. Yeah. So when I popped out later on, boom, you look like a Spanky. So, stop. And here we so are. So his dad called him Spanky. <laughs> and it stuck. My pastrami sandwich has arrived and Spanky's... Tapsi log. Tapsi log. And the presentation's lovely. It's really very nice. It's one of my favorites here. Um, my pastrami sandwich comes with uh, potato chips, which is the very American sort of thing, and a bit of mayonnaise. It looks good and it smells good. Yeah. And it's interesting because it's in a sourdough bread with very good looking pastrami, but they make their own sourdough bread, don't yes. they? Yes. Like basically everything from scratch. And yeah. they make their own pastrami. And I think their own tapa. They cure their own tapa. This is pretty good. I know. I have that all the time. Oh, yeah. My favorite. What's your tapa like? Number one, it's a kind of tapa I like. It's got a semi sweet sauce. So, you know, we Filipino, you've been here for a while. Filipino like sweetest things. Yeah. So top is cured properly. It's a bit savory, somewhat salty, but the sauce is very good. And it's a garlic rice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now this is this is really delicious. Spanky's just ordered two slices of cake that look beautiful. It's very. Good. One's the calamansi, it's like a lemon uh, tart. And this one is a. Salted caramel carrot cake. It's Delish. gigantic. Yeah. It's gigantic. Uh, I'm going to have just a little bit because we're going somewhere else immediately after this. So I'll, I'll, cheat. Have I'll, I'll get the frosting. So. A small slice. Oh, this has still got the tartness. It's quite sugary, quite sweet, but it still has that that tart. Uh, flavor which I really like of the, this, the, the signature calamansi character, that right? Hit, yeah, you get that um, uh, citrus hit. And this one is a classic. So it's you got your basic carrot cake, but at the same time, it's doused with salted caramel. So it gives an added dimension. Right. All right. I better Excellent have a flavors. Bit. So you can see the little specks of carrot in it. Nice texture. Yeah. It's uh, quite, quite firm. Very healthy. It's a carrot cake. But <laughs> of course, it's a solid carrot. I don't know about so. healthy. Mm. I was actually just saying to Spanky before what's the difference between a Reuben sandwich and a pastrami sandwich? And I think the difference is um, that a pastrami sandwich is obviously made with pastrami and a Reuben sandwich is made with corned beef. Oh, th there you go. So that must be the difference. There you go. Heading upstairs, 
What, what's the name of the place? Menya Kokoro. Menya Kokoro. Uh, one of the things I really love about the, the Podium Mall is you don't see the usual franchises. You know, you can go to shopping centres and it just looks like it's the same restaurants and the same shops Good everywhere. Yeah. Whereas Podium uh, is a, what's a premium mall? It's a premier mall of SM. A premier mall, and, right. Uh, Likewise, the profile of the restaurants are, are pretty high end. Yeah, so you can, it's a journey of discovery. You can go around and find all kinds of new places you've never seen before, which is, which is all part of the fun. So we're in Menya Kokoro on the fifth floor of Podia Mall and this is DK. Hello. And DK works in marketing for this restaurant. Uh, and what she's going to do is explain to us why this ramen restaurant is a little bit different. So what, what is it that's different about your ramen? Well, actually Menya Kokoro, um, it, we specialize in um, broth-less ramen. So ramen without any yes. broth. That's Any right. Soup. No soup. Yeah. Yeah. So broadless ramen, like, uh, but it has um, a very thick sauce in it, and uh -huh. then, um, and we have a very interactive way in enjoying the masi soba. Okay. So right. like, there's a step by step process. It's one, two, three steps. Yeah. So you, you mix you mix it up, and then of course, so enjoy it well. You have to slurp it so you can have the flavor, taste the flavor very well. And the, the concept of the slurping with the ramen is that it, you're, you're getting it right across your taste buds, aren't you? Across yes. your tongue. So it's okay to go yes. when you're eating. <laughs> Apparently in Japan, not, not in Australia, uh, and then you add step three. Yeah, in the middle of your meal, we have the combo vinegar, which is a seaweed vinegar. Um, to add the texture to your yeah. masi soba. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's seaweed in it. So you add that in the middle of your meal, apparently. You can add chili as well, if you like. Yes, for those who would like to have it, you know, yep. to have some kick. Okay. And then when you've finished your noodles, believe it or not, you get oimeshi, which, which is, is... A portion of rice. Like for us Filipinos, like, we really enjoy rice. <laughs> so, okay, so you get some rice in your bowl, and that mops up the, the, the rest of the sauce, apparently. So, are we we're going to have, that's what we're going to have, is it? Yes. All right, terrific. <laughs> I look forward to it. All right, our ramen has arrived, and I got the unagi, which is eel, because I haven't had eel ramen before, even though this isn't really ramen. Uh, it's... Um, Masa soba. Well, it's ramen without the broth. We call it masse soba. Masse soba. Yes. Okay. Just if you're wondering, that's the, the vinegar with the seaweed in it. Now, is there anything I need to do to this? You just have to mix it well. Mix. Okay. Yes. So rule number one: mix. Mix it well. And at what stage do we add the vinegar? Um, we just um, have a taste first. Uh huh. And then if it is um, too rich for you, you can add the vinegar. All right, don't forget to slurp. I'll make sure I get a bit of eel, a little bit of the soba noodles. Ooh. And by the way, just to clear this up, this isn't a paid ad, right? I've come here because I wanted to. I mainly came here because Spanky suggested that we come here because he's a big fan of the place. Um, and um, so far, I'm glad that I did. Oh. oh boy. Mm. I hope you appreciate the background. We've got a fantastic view out the window and I really wanted to make sure that we got the view. Mm -hmm. So we've got a light blaring in our faces. So to light our faces because we've got this light source behind us. Because I had a pastrami sandwich, I've taken some of the noodles out of the bowl. But once you get to around about this level, that's when you could put in the rice. So that's the oimeshi. Oimeshi, a portion of rice. Okay, so you put in a portion. To complete your experience. And then you mix the rice around. Yeah. And so that soaks up the rest of the juices in there. Do people ever pour their soup in as well? No? Some, they do it, but you we prefer recommend. not to. We don't yeah. recommend. Okay. All right. 
Filipino love it because you know, you know us Filipinos, we love rice. Love rice, yeah. Yes. Of course, we have to. A Sapporo beer. It's a perfect match to your masisoba. Oh, that's a good beer. Two Japanese beers, good. Well, we've just finished our Japanese food at Menya Kokoro and we're heading for so an I ice cream like in a gang. <laughs> So we've come to Sebastian's to grab some ice cream and they've got some pretty funky flavors, let me tell you. I'll try that in a minute. But this is Nines and she's a food blogger who writes a really good food blog. It's called manilastreet.com. But what on earth is this flavor? What is it? It's a green mango with bagoong flavor. <laughs> did, uh, did you get that? Green mango with bagoong which is fermented fish. Green mango ice cream, ice cream with fermented fish. Oh, that is so weird. <laughs> oh, that's just the weirdest taste I've ever had. It's slightly sweet, but it's also quite sour, like bitter, no sour, like green mango. And then there's the burger um on it. Ooh. <laughs> um, Nine is going to try some different flavors. I'm going to try the mangatsuman. Yeah. Mangatsuman. Yeah. So it's coconut kakanin ice what is cream. It? So manga, mangatsuman is like mango with like rice cake, like a local rice oh, cake. Oh, okay. Right. So it's dairy free and it's vegan. So if you. Guys it's vegan? Can, it is vegan, yeah. So let me just try it. Yeah, that hits the spot. What's what's your weirdest flavor? Mm. Aside, of course, from the green mango and bugger on something else. Champarado with dilis. Champarado with what's dilis? Dilis, dilis, dilis. is like really small um, salted dried fish. Oh right. So could could I have a taster yeah. of that, please? Chomperado is normally like a chocolate rice, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's a chocolate rice porridge. And I have actually had it with dried fish on top. Yes. So this is the same principle. In I just an ice cream form. Okay, so, so this is another ice cream with yeah. fish thing. Chomperado with dillies. So they're little fish. Oh, I can smell the fish. That's not quite as crazy as the last one. Now that's not bad, because you're getting the crunch from the dried fish, and it's not as fishy as the bugger <laughs> First First, nine, nine is this, what are you trying? What's this one? So I'm trying the matinung boyfriend. Okay, and what does that mean in English? Um, decent boyfriend. And before she does, these are, we're getting a sneak preview of the Valentine's Day flavors. Yes. All right. So they have a couple of flavors. This is what a decent boyfriend tastes like. Oh no! <laughs> That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Any good? Tastes pretty decent to me. <laughs> All right. And I'm having... What, what, what's it? It's called Unresolved Issues. Unresolved Issues. And it's an Ampalaya sorbet. With candied Ampalaya. With um, with Ampalaya, yeah. yeah, so it's a bitter gourd or Ampalaya. Mm -hmm. I'm getting all the really weird ones. Yeah. Yep. Is it good? It tastes like sorbet with bitter gourd. <laughs> we've, had it, we've had quite a few weird little tastings and we've settled on the ice cream that, that we're going to have. I've gone for another slightly weird one. Nines, what have you got? Also a slightly adventurous one. Yeah. What <laughs> right. is it? It is a it's a green mango, but this time it has chili sugar. Chili and sugar. Chili on, on and green sugar. Green mango yeah. ice cream. Mine is a blue cheese ice cream with a walnut and honey topping. And this is I believe 175 pesos. Yeah. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Oh, this is like eating blue cheese. Mm. 
Mm, I actually thought there'd be the hint. Just a hint. Oh yes. Oh, a hint of blue cheese. This is like a hit you on the head with a baseball bat. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that at all. Wow. Wow. Once in a blue moon. <laughs> How's yours? So mine, I, well, first of all, I chose this because this reminds me of um, like when I go to the beach, there would be like people selling mangoes yeah. and then with chilies and sugar. But this is, this isn't a, a joke. It's spicy, it's sweet, it's sour. I can see the tears in your eyes. Can I have a little bit of yours? Sure. I mean, will, will you have a little bit of mine? Definitely. I'm going to get a get chunk the of chilies. chili. Yeah. I've get got a chunk chili. of chili there, as you can see. I'm going to try yours. Oh, that's quite cool. Oh, gee, that is spicy, isn't it? Wow. Yeah. They're not messing around here at Sebastian's. I really like this. How did you, how did you go? It is, you're right, yeah. It's like in your face blue cheese. It really is. Action. <laughs> I don't think you could eat that whole thing. <laughs> That's like an artery clogger. But if oh. you want to eat this, it's really good. I mean, That's that's quite refreshing. It is, right? Sort of like a palate cleanser kind well, of dessert. Tell you what though, it's really nice to go somewhere and try something where the flavors are so incredibly bold. You know, I mean, half the time, you know, you get an ice cream with a flavor and you go, oh yeah, yeah. I can taste it, I think, yeah. But this is just whack. <laughs> right, well, after a pastrami sandwich, a um, eel uh, sober yeah. noodle ramen, brothless ramen, and a blue cheese with walnut and honey ice cream, and meeting the wonderful nines from manilastreet.com, uh, it's time to say goodbye. Bye.